Okay, this is going to be a ton of characters. I'll try not to spend too long on each character. I don't want this video to be like an hour long. <laughs> so I'll try to be brief, especially with the characters who don't matter too much. Speaking of, I really am including all the characters. Every character from the show who has gotten lines of dialogue is getting included. Obviously, this is going to be super biased, like mega subjective. I'll try to give valid reasons for my picks, but also like, I have some things on here that are just dumb, dumb reasons for why they land where they do. So let's just dive right in. Ruby Rose. B. She's cute and sweet, but also kind of annoying and boring. Incredibly down the middle and doesn't really leave much of an impression. Why Schnee? Easy S tier. She's adorable and fun and funny, and she has some of the best character development in the whole series and some amazing lines of dialogue between the characters too. Blake Belladonna. E. Definitely the worst out of our main cast. She's annoying and mean and nasty, and I hate every word that comes out of her mouth. Yuck, get her off screen. The only thing saving her from an F is that I love her design. Yang Xiaolong, D. She's pretty and fun and has some great jokes, but only during volumes one through three. After losing her arm, Yang has lost most of the elements about her character that I enjoyed. Now, more often than not, I just find her very boring. Jean Arc, C. Sometimes I love him. He's funny and charming and his character is endearing and his strong love for his friends is genuinely sweet. But the other half the time, he's an annoying, whiny, obnoxious drama queen. I'm very 50-50 with him. Nora Valkyrie, S, obviously. She's so damn cute and fun and I love her and she's so sweet, but every time she gets serious, it's like a punch to my heart. Lai Ren, B. He's nice, but kinda boring. I hope he gets more screen time to develop more. Pira Nikos. Um, C? Okay, okay, listen. She's pretty and she was nice, but that's about it. She died too soon for her character to get to develop more, and her whole character was only centered around Jean, and then made her actions and dialogue kind of boring. So like, eh, you know? Oscar Pine. C. Similarly, he hasn't gotten any screen time to actually develop much yet. Crow Bronwyn. A. His character has been getting more and more interesting in recent years. Super fun, both his personality and his development. Penny Polandina, S. Yeah, she's so cute and sweet and I love her. And her character progression with befriending Ruby and her struggle of being a robot is so sweet. And with her becoming the Winter Maiden, I'm so happy that she gets to be on screen even more. Sun Wukong, D. Like, meh. He's a fun character, but he doesn't really do much. The fact that he mostly just chases Blake around like a lost puppy is a huge hindrance to his character. Neptune Versailles? Versailles. Oof. Neptune Versailles. I think I'm saying that right. F. Oh boy, our first F. And I fucked up his name too. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Neptune is just painfully boring to me. His involvement in volume two wasn't that impressive and his role as the cool guy acting as a foil to Jean was both unnecessary and ended up just going nowhere. Scarlet David, F. A nice design is not enough to make me like a character. Sage Ayana, F. A more boring design and significantly less screen time is even worse. Velvet Scarlatina, B. Mega adorable, really cool weapon, nothing else really going on though. Coco Adele, S. I love her. She's like my biggest girl crush. She's fucking sexy and a badass with a kick-ass minigun. Her outfit is perfect. Her sunglasses and beret make her look fucking cool. Her hair is super simple, but that pop of orange is just enough to make her look fantastic. She's sassy and she isn't afraid to call you out on your shit. I just love her so much. <laughs> Fox Alistair, D. He's all right. The blind thing is cool, but I hate his outfit. Yasuhashi Daichi, E. His weapon is like super boring to me, meh. Ozpin, D. He's just like a boring, typical, all-knowing old man archetype. Ozma, C. I know this could be considered the same person, but you know, whatever. Ozma at least went through some crazy shit that made me empathize with him. Glinda Goodwitch, E. I like how pissed off she is all the time, but she's like barely in the show. Her design is fine, her weapon sucks, and her OP semblance never gets used in cool ways. Salem, E. Neat design. Not much depth to her character though. Maybe more screen time would fix that. Bartholomew Ublick, S. He's fast and stretchy and funny and quirky and I really enjoy it every time he's on screen. Peter Port, C. He's alright. Zwei, F. 
stupid. An ugly little blob that was a failed attempt at comedy that never got brought up again except for cameos in the background. Corgis are fucking adorable, but Zwei looks like a goblin with how they've animated him. Fucking dumb. I'm glad he's gone. Lisa Lavender. E. Yeah. Now do you believe me when I said I was covering everybody? Yeah, she's cute. I like how she's gotten fatter over the years. Makes it seem like Lisa's letting herself go with her age. Fucking, I've, I've ranked Lisa Lavender over Zwei. I'm gonna lose all my subscribers. <laughs> Old man. F. I never found him funny. Tai Yang. D. Just a dusty old man version of Yang. Junior. E. I'm glad he never got more screen time because he seemed boring as hell. Melanie and Milsha Malachite. A's. I'm lumping them together because they're so underdeveloped that they're literally just the same character, but hot damn, their designs are really cute. Also, I'm a sucker for that bratty girl personality they have. Cinderfall. B. She's getting better. I think deep down, Cinder can be a really interesting and deep villain, but she spent a lot of time sucking balls, being obnoxious as hell. <laughs> Emerald Sustari. Sustari. I, mm, I'm bad with names. I'm bad with names, I'm sorry. C. I love her design. Her weapon and semblance is really cool. She seems like an interesting character with a glimpse of some depth, but she's also moody and argumentative and blah. <laughs> Mercury Black. F. Boring character, boring weapon, boring as balls design. Neopolitan. E. Cute design, but her character is absent at best or obnoxious at worst. Roman Torchwick. S. I miss my saucy redhead boy. He was funny as hell and entertaining to be on screen. Rest in peace, my bro. Lieutenant Bainsaw. F. Underdeveloped as fuck. Tuxin. E. Honestly, the only thing keeping him from being an F is the fact that Adam does a really, really good job with his voice acting. Deary. F. Female deer don't have antlers like that. Perry, F. Glasses is the beginning and end of his entire character. Cardin Winchester, F. Bully piece of shit who was also underutilized during their time in school. The rest of Team Cardinal, Fs. Boring and ugly motherfuckers. Team Bronze, Fs all around. Ugly, ugly, boring, boring. Team Auburn, Asriel and Reese get A's. Their designs are mega adorable. The other two are Fs. Boring as hell, get out of here. <laughs> Team Indigo, Nebula gets an A, she's super cool looking and her weapon is rad. Do is an F, her dress looks terrible for combat. Gwen is a C, she's cute and her weapon is neat if a little simplistic all around. And Ophelia is an F, terrible color palette and she's just a super weenie in battle. Neon Cat, S, she's so much fucking fun and her bitchy little insults are just great. For being a throwaway character for a tournament arc, she's better than most of our main cast. Flint Cole, S. He's a badass and classy, and his personality bounces off of Neo so well. Top it all off with a cool weapon and a semblance, and you got a winner. Ivory, F. All right design, but that's it. Cobalt, F. Worst design, ugh. <laughs> Ciel Soleil, F. Boring. Amber, F. Terrible outfit, and her hair is kind of ugly too. Winter Schnee, C. With her hair down, she'd be like an A, but her usual uptight military style and generally pessimistic attitude drops her down to a C. James Ironwood, A. More beard equals more better. <laughs> He's a uniquely complex character with great development and top tier voice acting. He's just a little too moody, so he's not an S. Jacques Snee, F. Shitty person with an ugliest balls design. Adam Taurus, F. The black trailer tricks you into thinking he's going to be really deep and cool, but he's really just a little fuckboy who has a terrible second outfit as well. I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> Mata, F. White shirt and pink shorts. Whitley Schnee, F. Gender bent Weiss, but with a boring outfit and zero personality. Klein, S. A good boy who makes me happy. His eye changing thing for his semblance to better represent his different personalities being the seven dwarves he's based off of is cute and I love him. Henry Marigold, F. The dude's a fuck and his haircut is stupid. Gira Belladonna, D. He's alright. You know, just. He's fine. Kali Belladonna, C. She's alright, you know, she's cute and all, but like, she's fine. <laughs> Sienna Khan, C. Why waste such a great design and sexy personality on a character who dies so quickly? God of Light, E. The dragon design is cool, but he's kind of an egotistical piece of shit. Seems less like a god and more like a know-it-all. God of Dark, E. The line work on his dragon form is hard to see, making it hard to notice the cool details with his design. And he might be arrogant and proud, but at least he sees the world from his brother's perspective. Fennec Albane, F. 
Fucking boring and a waste of time. Corsicale Bane. F. Fucking boring and a waste of time. Pilot Boy. D. For being a nothing throwaway character, he has a surprisingly fun personality. Shay D. Man. F. As the only other bandit besides Vernal from the Bronwyn tribe that actually gets, like, a character, I wish he wasn't such an annoying little shit. <laughs> Captain. F. Alright, the fact I need to include stupid ass background characters like him because I know if I don't, I'll get that one person in the comments being like, um, what about the captain? He's a fucking F because he's not a real character. Like, what do you expect? First mate. F. Ugh. Waitress. F. Of course. <laughs> On Ren. D. She's alright. I wish her hair looked better. Lee Ren. C. He's pretty cool and I'm sad he was so short and lived. Arthur Watts. B. He's sassy, he's got a great mustache, his favorite hobby is dunking on Cinder. I can't wait to see more of him. Hazel Reinhardt. E. He's got a nice fatherly personality, which could lead to interesting things, but his design is awful and his motivations for hating Oz is just stupid. Tyrion Callows. S. He's stretchy and fun to watch fight, and he's poetic when he talks, and he's just fun. I love it when he's on screen. Raven Bronswin. F. She's an annoying little bitch, and every line of dialogue she has is a wandering waste of air. Worst of all, she fucking abandoned her own daughter when she was just a small child because she's a huge, stupid coward. Yet has the audacity to blabber on and on about strength. She is a hypocritical fucking cunt. If there was a lower tier than F, she'd be on it. She is, without a doubt, my least favorite character in the whole show. Leonardo Lionheart, F. His design is terrible and his character is underdeveloped and bland. Vernal, F. She's obnoxious and I hate her design. Fucking one pants sleeve rolled up. <laughs> Ilya Amalita, A. She's super cute and I love her color changing gimmick. I just wish the animators played around with this concept more. Her development has made me empathize with her so much. Jin, C. Cool design and a neat concept for a relic. Trifa, F. She's ugly and completely unnecessary. Yuma, F. He's lame and beaten super easily, and his back wings make him look like a bad DeviantArt OC. Saber Rodentia, F. I honestly didn't even know he had a name before making this video. <laughs> D and Dudley, F and F. Too obnoxious for being throwaway characters. Little Miss Malachite, E. Mm, at least it's an interesting take on her fairy tale. Maria Calavera, A. She's a badass old lady, and when she was young, she was cool and extra badass. My biggest gripe with her is she's kind of dead weight to the main cast now, but at least she's still a joy to have on screen. Talk. S. I just love her design so much, and her bitchy personality is so much fun. See, this is what I want. If you're gonna bother making a background character with lines of dialogue, at least give them an interesting design or a fun personality. Saffron, Terra, and Adrian Kata Arc. F's all around. They're on screen so little, and when they are on screen, it's not exactly like they're interesting or funny. Caroline Cordovan. A. I know a lot of people hate her, but I've always found her to be kind of fun. Her over-the-top theatrical personality reminds me of Team Rocket. For being a throwaway villain, at least I have fun when she was on screen. Mysterious red-haired woman. F. Ugh, so stupid. That's what she's really named. Like in the credits. Mysterious red-haired woman. Don't pussy out on this. Just tell us if this is Pyrrha's mom or sister or whatever the fuck. Stupid. Summer Rose. C. She's cute, and I like her in theory, but she hasn't been developed enough to make me care about her more. Willow Schnee. F. So not worth the wait. After talking about her for two years, she's just a boring stereotype of an alcoholic parent. Oh, and then she started chugging straight from the bottle. Wow, it took us a whole three seconds to think of this to write. <laughs> Robin Hill. F. What an annoying little brat. She's so full of herself and she's too busy looking down her nose at others to realize she's more of a problem than anyone else on screen. Fiona Time. B. She's super cute. Way to rock that afro, you little sweetheart. May Marigold. C. She's neat. I like how sassy she is. Cute hair. Joanna Greenleaf. C. She's neat. I like how tall she is. Cool design. Sleet and Camilla. F and F. The council have been talked about for years, and finally seeing some real council members, I was super disappointed with how bland and boring they are. Clover Ebby. A. He's a good boy, with a cool fighting style and semblance, and he's super charming. Harriet Bree. C. I love her design a lot, actually, and her semblance has a fun visual difference from our usual speedsters. Too bad she's such a bitch! <laughs> Mero Amin. D. 
Cool semblance and weapon, but his character is so bland. I wish he was given more personality than just his faunus trait. Yes, I know, the faunus have been discriminated against, and I'm sure he's suffered from that discrimination, but I lament the fact the only thing he ever talks about is that element of his character. A real personality would have been appreciated. Vine Zeki. See, he's neat. I wonder if he has a weapon or if his semblance is his only competitive element. Elm Edern. See, she's cool. I love me some big strong gals with big strong guns. <laughs> Pietro Paulandina, C. Awesome wheelchair, and he's got a fun grandpa-esque personality. However, just like Maria, he's filling the dead weight category of the team right now. Forrest, F. Almost the exact same character as Shady Man, but with an uglier design. <laughs> Freya, S. I find her so fascinating. She's a badass, but with her failing health due to her age, it's an interesting element to her character. I'm sad she died, but now I really hope we get some sort of supplemental material telling us about her backstory, or diving deeper into her time with Ironwood and Winter. Maybe a manga or something can give me that? Either way, I loved her for the short while she lasted. Alrighty, I hope you liked this. Uh, quick shout out to my $10 patrons, you're all awesome. Ramiel, Andrew, Cool Duck, James Dodds, Michael, Nako, Chamomile, and Valhalla Knight. Alright, and in the comments, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. I'm positive you rank almost all of these characters differently for me. <laughs> I ranked Cinder like higher than Pyrrha. I put Cordovan higher than Neo. <laughs> I just- I can't help it, man. Like, that, that's- that's what my heart told me to do, and, and- and it's true. And yeah, Raven really is my least favorite character, and Robin is probably my second least favorite. Uh, my favorite favorite is probably Weiss or Nora, or Penny. They- they're- they, they're all tied, but I- I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. If, uh, I made this- I have a rank chart, and if I made it on, like, Rank Maker- there's a watermark in the corner. If you make your own, uh, version that's cool share them with me on Twitter I'd love to check them out and I love to hear any of your other thoughts and opinions about this topic and if you want to help support me I do have merch and I have a patreon so if you want to help support me at all give those things like give check out those things if you want to and I'll see you in the next one bye bye